with in mind. I thank you all for the very, very um, uh, interesting discussion of today. My name is Elish Schlein, despite the exotic name, I'm a member of the European Parliament from Italy. Uh, and just to be very short, because what Guillaume said is what I think, and it's, 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 uh, it's that the point on which I would like to start a very brief reflection with you. We are in front of an historical paradox, an international of nationalists, like the Friends of the European Spring like to call them. But we see it clearly in Italy right now. Mr. Salvini strengthens Mr. Orban, Ms. Le Pen, Mr. Trump, and vice versa, with the same rhetoric of hatred, intolerance, and walls. And if you think about it, it's a paradox, because brought to the end, that rhetoric brings them one against the other on the opposite sides of the wall they dream to build. But the point is, they are stealing from us the internationalism. Where are we if they strengthen each other? Why what the, uh, for example, I was talking about uh, the, the press in Italy the other day on the Portuguese government. You know that most of the people in Italy do not even know that there is a left government in, in Portugal. Why that? Why the achievements on fighting inequalities of that government does not strengthen the rest of the European left progressive and environmentalist forces? And it's true that we criticize Mr. Salvini when he sends out an SMS to the extreme right candidate during the election in uh, Sweden. But then I think about myself and I do some self-criticism and I say, look, to whom have I sent a message for the Swedish election? To no one. But we are here together with people that think the same. And if we think about what is, let's say, uh, preventing the European project from being the very good idea in the mind of our funding mothers and fathers, the Manifesto of Ventotene, a European Union of more opportunities for the young generation, okay? If you think the same about the fight to inequalities, about the fight for tax justice, which is another uh, thing on which we managed to find very ambitious position in this parliament on transparency, because it's, uh, there's, these multinational companies are stealing our future with up to 1,000 Euro, 1, billion euros a, a year. You can imagine it's about free Juncker plan of investment. So the point is, on tax justice, on a fairer sharing of responsibilities on welcoming in a dignified and human manner migrants and refugees in the European Union, on the issue of the social dimension that the European Union desperately needs, Gabi Zimmer talked about a minimum income scheme, other options are available, and on the issue also, and finally, of the climate change and what you need to do to make sure that we feel the responsibility we have on the next generation, on this very delicate issue. You know what happened in my country? Have you seen the picture? I was on Sunday in Belluno, in the northern part of Italy. There are thousands, thousands of trees that were completely destroyed by a strong wind and by some rain. Look at those pictures, because this is the way we are unfortunately leading if we're not able to find a strong alternative. So my final point would be, in this House, with the Progressive Caucus, when we manage to form the Progressive and Green Front that should be able at the European level to confront the international of nationalists, when we did it inside this Parliament, we won important fights without even having the numbers. Let's be honest. I was a reporter for the reform of the Dublin regulation on asylum. Uh, Judith Sargentini was the rapporteur on Hungary. We managed to stick together to push the Liberals and to push also the Popular Party, and we won. That's why I think this is the way through, and this is also the heritage that we would like to give to the next Parliament. And my last point would be we need to confront the nationalists and the selfishness of the national governments by having more European parties, more European press, more European trade unions and associations that fight the selfishness at the same level and win, as we did with the beautiful protest of the, the Czarny protest, the black protest of the black women, uh, of the Polish women. We managed to make it a real progressive, a real, um, a real uh, European protest, and we managed to win it. We have to do the same on so many different issues, and I was so honored in this in these years here, to work with other people like Dimitrios, like Eduard, like Ferron, like, uh, like Guillaume, like Agnieszka, of which I'm a, I'm a big fan, 
it's a privilege for us because we see that even in different national contexts, but we are moved by the same values, we are using the same words, we are fighting the same fights. If we manage to communicate a common vision for the future of the European Union and our member states, then we will probably be strong and win. Thanks a lot.